Play some Mario. Let me put that bad boy over here. Alright. So like I said earlier, I haven't played this um, since it was demoed at Best Buy. And I remember being very bad at it because I also was really bad at 3D Land on the 3DS, which is currently somewhere in my basement because it fell through a like crevice behind my piano, so like a hole. And that was right before I was about to lend it out to one of my brother's friends. It fell into the hole, and um, there is like a Edgar Allan Poe like crawl space in my basement that leads to where it is, but it's full of bricks. Uh, Insects and a bunch of shit. So, needless to say, I'm not going in there. It's a, it's a, I have, do I have the case still? Super Mario 3D I think I do. So I can, I'll just buy a new one if I, if I really want a new one. All right. What are my options? I thought Rosalina was in this. All right, chat. Who should I be? Should I be red man, green man, pink girl, blue boy? I could be Mario. I could be Luigi. I can't do a peach impression. Or I could be Toad. Blue? You want me to be Toad? Diaper boy? Oh shit! We got a standoff. Alright, how about, how about we flip a coin on Google? Here we go. How about heads heads for heads for Toad, tails for Luigi. And you're gonna hear it. Right, hold on a second. Flip a coin. You got heads. Alright. <laughs> Fate has been decided. But when I do get Rosalina, I'm gonna switch to her. Sorry, Christian. The, the streamer gods just love Andrew. Let me fill up my Brita while I still have a chance. I like how it gets quieter as it fills up more. Oh god, my controller's vibrating. It's a fairy! God, the, uh, ever since those jar memes... Of like putting figurines in jars from Amazon to come out that I can't look at that image the same way. This is a Nintendo game, mind you. Hey, it was nice knowing you. You know what, boys? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I kinda wanna play as Peach. Considering there's only like one game where you can play as Peach in, in terms of Mario. Maybe maybe more than one. What's up, Payton? I think they just they just picked out uh, Alex's emote. I got the Dragon Ball Z uh, uh, Big Bang Blast ability in uh, Call of the Night. Made breakfast? What'd you make? I have some eggs. I'll play his card for a little bit. Okay, I was about to say, can I get rid of that at the bottom? Alright. I think I can climb up these, can I? <laughs> Price fell off. Eggs, bacon, and sausage. Nice. I haven't had bacon in such a long time. 
That needs to change. I also haven't made an omelet in a very long time. Cookies and cream protein shake? Was that the one that you liked or you didn't like? Yeah. I almost died. The one I liked? Okay. What was the one you didn't like? Wasn't that, uh... Was it like Wildberry? That's not right. I've seen some, like, stupid videos, uh, like, of the strawberry and cream. Okay, I knew it was, like, fruity. Did, like, the strawberry taste, like, overly processed or something like that? Okay. Cut, there's a lot to explore in this. Hello, green star. Yeah, I was gonna play this uh, during like the last or like last March, but never got the time. I mean, the only I didn't I wasn't initially gonna buy this game, but um, the Mario 35 pin set for Club Nintendo required you to have it so you get the rewards. So I was like, uh, the first one's already going for like eighty dollars, and the game's what sixty. Actually, ended up getting it for like fifty at Best Buy. Uh, and it, 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 they're huge pins too, so I could, I could, like, if I really wanted to, which I probably won't, I could sell like both. I could play Mario 64, well, like literally whenever, but uh, I have, I have it on uh, Switch, but uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm uh, like taking account of the fact that the pins are free, and the games, the games to get them cost sixty dollars. I could, tech, I could technically make a profit, but I'll, I'll probably just keep the pins. Because they're really nice. I could play Galaxy. I could play Sunshine. I could play 64 on the Collector's Pack. I beat I beat Sunshine on the GameCube, like actually. But I haven't I haven't beat it on uh, Switch yet. And when I say actually, I mean like the GameCube version. Like, I have it on GameCube. Sup? Okay, thanks. So are there three stars per level? Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice Galaxy reference. More bells. I don't know what the uh, public reception is of this game in terms of how it compares to the other Mario games. Come here. Do, do, do you have the last star? Holy shit. I haven't seen like a Mega Mushroom. Uh, in a Mario game since the one on like the DS. Man, thinking about Mario 64 makes me want to play Conker's Bad Fur Day again. Yeah, uh, they need to make they <laughs> they need to make uh, a new Conker's, but Microsoft won't let Rare do it. I don't imagine. I don't think. Ooh. I'm dead. COVID again. You had COVID? That's actually kind of a good thing because I, I broke the tube and I kind of want to see what's in here. Oh, it's a stamp. I don't know what stamps do. I think they used to, they used to like help for like Miiverse posts or something like that, but Miiverse is dead as shit. Bell stuff here? That's oh, over here. Yeah, when did, when did you, you said COVID again, when did you get COVID? When was that? Okay, thanks, I didn't really need that. 
Gotcha. Okay, now I can break the tube and not feel bad about it. Oh, okay. I, I was actually worried about that. Uh, I don't have a bell thing. I think there was one back here. Let's hit despawned. Nope. I'm gonna feel like absolute shit on. Okay, I'm gonna feel like absolute shit on. Uh, uh what day is it? Next Monday, when I get my second vaccine. I'm gonna have to dog sit too, so I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna be in absolute misery. I'll probably still try to stream that day though. Uh, does this lead back to the tube at the beginning? Yipper. Late November into early December last year. Huh. Did you tell me? Did you did you tell me that? I don't remember you ever or me ever knowing. I need the last star. Okay, time to go on a manhunt. <laughs> oh my God, Peyton! Thank you. Do you get this? You don't get the star from. No, but I told. Oh, uh, okay. I thought I thought you were Peyton saying that. Yeah, I knew you. I I think I did know know that you had COVID. You got it from uh, in-person classes, didn't you? Because of your labs. Yeah, both your names are green, so I got that mixed up. Like, they're the same shade of green. Like, one's not even, like, a light green. They're both, uh, I don't even know what you want to call that. Shamrock shade green. At least on my screen. Okay, where's this last star at? I refuse to go on until I get this last star. I mean, there's, there's a chance that it's, uh, you have to get the top of the flagpole to get it, but I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll find out. Survey says no. No, my grandpa got it first and spread. Oh, it spread throughout the house. Oh, but you did it. You did have a few labs that uh, or a few classes that got canceled because of the COVID scare, didn't you? Or something like that. Yeah, I kind of want to go back in and get the rest of the stars. Let's do Peach. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I thought I was still playing Hollow Knight for some reason. I mean, the color scheme of these two games are were very similar, so you can't really blame me. Yeah, I didn't have any uh, in-person classes, even though I kind of wish that my math was was in person and my physics was in person, because doing that shit online, yeah, no, not good. The whole situation almost cost me my ability to graduate. Yeah, that would that that sucks. I still have to take two more Heartland classes, and then I, I can graduate. But yeah, luckily they're gonna be in person now, so I don't have to worry about doing that shit again. Going through the hellhole that is online calculus and physics. 
It's like I cannot say engage unless it's in person. And it's not an issue with me like just being distracted like in person. Like it, it, I just for some reason don't absorb the information the same way. Which is, as I understand it, is pretty uh, similar for other people too. What is this? Can I ground pound? Oh. Am I supposed to ground pound this as like a Mega Mushroom? Don't fall off. Okay, good. Come here, little rabbit. Nope. I would have felt so smart if that was actually it. Hmm. I feel like I need to do something with that uh, Mega Mushroom to get the last star. Is he back? Nope. First my chem lab teacher got COVID, then my actual chem teacher... Oh, that's right! That sucks. How did you guys, uh, continue your class after that, then? Like, did, did they have someone on standby that... I'm dead. That's fine, I need the Mega Mushroom anyway, I think. Uh, did they just have another chem teacher that took over? She floats. A little bit. Oh, I, I found it. Okay, I know how to get it now. Sneaky. I didn't see it, actually. We had a new teacher who had worked closely with him in the past. Oh, Jesus. I bet he felt awkward doing it. Wait, this is not it? Oh! I am supposed to go down here, aren't I? Can, I? can I still make it? Oh shit. God damn. Okay. At least I know now. Okay, take three. Anybody who's watching uh, Alex's stream, is that the emo that they picked? Or is that like, is, is he doing like, uh, categories of emotes or something like that? Oh, I can't climb. Very nice. What is this? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Next level. No idea for... Is that the emote that they picked, or... My little hypothesis. Of it being categorized. Can I climb this? I can't. Let's 
<laughs> I just fell off right there. Give me this. Both. <laughs> What's he doing right now? No, oh, I wanted to use that. Shit. Ranked foul. He's playing ranked. He's gonna get his ass whooped. God damn it. It's like I'm gonna destroy a break of it, I guess. I was trying to bounce the shell like everywhere. Oh yeah, Peyton, those three games that we played yesterday, awful. Holy shit. I think I was playing Dragon Age. Maybe. I doubt there's anything here. Princess needs to keep like a hold of some of these bad boys to fuck up Bowser. Anytime. Oh, okay. Great. I probably missed a star. I'm gonna cry about it. Oh, never mind. Uh, is there anything up here? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's literally just like World 1 2 in the actual game. You can just run over the top. Secret E. Oh, this is. Oh, it's timed. Okay. Do I just kill him? I'm small. I need a mushroom bed. Stamps are used for in the Switch version because 
like I said, there's no Miiverse or anything. It's just like to have. I just didn't feel like taking it out of the game. Uh, I needed that shell, didn't I? Actually, I might be able to pull something off. Let's see if I can even get up there. Satisfying as shit. Alright, cool. Something for like Tanuki Peach or something like that. That would have been cool. And I'm gonna go check out this first. What's that guy's name? Like Charging charge Tuck? Uh, big stuff in small packages. Holy shit. Let's take on, let's take on AJ Dillon right here. Oh shit, two. RB2, yeah. I bet you'd rather still have Williams, though. Should they have Williams or the Quadfather? Mount Beanpole. to show me. Uh, there's a stamp. Yeah, I'm on the same boat. Can't wait to have Cohen back though, for me. Alright. I still don't really know why we, why we drafted uh, Herbert in like the fifth or sixth round, whatever the hell it was. I think it was the sixth round. Just to be a return guy, whatever. Oh god, yeah, he's in Detroit too. I mean, you lost Boyle and Williams to... Oh my god. We just won't talk about that. Can I do a backflip? No, I can't. Well, it might be like... Alright guys, uh... Man, what is this level? I haven't seen this before. This is my first time being here. Man, that starts gray. I, thought, I think, I, I think uh, the game glitched out or something. I, yeah, I haven't got that star yet. That's, that's interesting. So it was my first time being at this level. Never been here before. Nothing at all just happened. God damn it! I thought it might be Mario Galaxy type movement. Can you? 
That was a Mario Galaxy type jump. Maybe Peach can't do that? Okay. Detroit stole everything from me. Yeah. Watch them be better than the Vikings, even though they don't really have a <laughs> that great of a receiving room anymore. I mean, they still have Danny, Danny and Mandola. If that really means anything. Can't have shit in Detroit. Not even a running back. Or a quarterback, excuse me. Alright, P block, that means I gotta break some blocks. Never mind. Very nice. All right. See you later. Yeah. I might have missed something. Let me go look. Yep, I missed one coin. Good thing I looked. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't get that one coin. this? Oh. Ooh, there is something up there. I almost missed that. <laughs> I would have been very fucking upset. Oops. There you go. I have no idea what that says, Christian. <laughs> Fuckers stole all of the view vowels. Oh, I see. Even though there's still an O there. <laughs> Therefore, your joke is meaningless. I have a keychain of that, uh, Mario Tanuki. I got that from my Nintendo. Oh shit, have you tried connecting and playing with friends? Uh, I don't have any friends. We'll save the carnival for after this. This is a Mario water level, so it can't possibly be any bad. Hey, yeah, still, yeah, you did. You missed the E. I don't know. I love that. You gonna tell me something? Guess not. Hop on plushy and head for the goal. Connect, control your speed by tilting up and down on the L or. Huh? Jump by pressing B. When playing with friends, you can... <laughs> Why did they... I don't, I don't understand. They have an analog stick that says L on it, and then they just have an analog stick. Like, we can see the analog stick in the first one. Dun, dun, dun. 
All right, boys, keep your eyes open for any stars. There's one. That I managed to get. I see a red hoop over here. Gimme, give gimme. Give no! Damn, that shit's hard to control. I think that would've just been an item now, so it's fine, I guess. What is he even supposed to be? Shit. Camera, please. God. Star! <laughs> that is very hard to control. I, I, me, you watching me do that doesn't do it very much justice. Oh, I see. I think I was supposed to get that speed boost on that initial hill, maybe? I don't want to hear hear any of your sass, buddy. Come here, bastard! Gimme, gimme. Here we go. What's the point of that? Can I climb up this? Holy shit. Good thing I died. <laughs> I think I was supposed to jump there. Then, <laughs> buddy boy. like a secret wall back there too. It's okay, I have one ups every time I die pretty much. There we go. There we go. Sweet. I missed some of those uh, holes or hoops, but we won't talk about that. We need coins anyway. Wait, what is that? Is it like a boost up? Oh, it's just a speed boost. Okay. I'm gonna go to the carnival. Get your fucking, get your, get your, get your corn dogs. Get your lemonade shakeups. Get your, get your tickets. We're gonna go get some carny prizes. I haven't been to a, like a carnival or a fair in so long. I think last time I went to one, uh, it was for my grandma's church, and then they stopped doing it because like a bunch of gangs took over the area, which that sucks. Ooh! Time to feed my gambling addiction. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's what you need coins for. Hit the blocks and make pictures line up. You could win 777 coins. You get an extra life for every 100 coins you collect. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Well, I gotta recognize a pattern. I can't tell what goes before the fire flower. It's hurting my eyes. Uh, the bell? Yeah. Okay. Oh.
I thought I meant lined up all four. Okay. Accidental. I shall take it. Oh, they have little green stars on every flagpole. That's good to, good to see, I guess. All right, the fair. Let's go. Let's see Captain Toad. All right. Disgusting when I just did the VA came back up. Alright, looks like it's gonna be every uh, face card or symbol, I guess. A, a deck. I keep thinking it's like. Ground pound. Or just jump, I guess. Okay. Thank you very much. This looks cool. Oh! Time trial. <laughs> oh, I had to break all the boxes. How long are we streaming for today? Um, I was thinking three hours, and we're at two hours and 27 minutes right now. Eventually, I'm gonna uh, host Alex because I want to see if my. Um, I set up uh, in Streamlabs a pop-up for when someone hosts you or you raid someone, and I'm curious if it's universal. So, like, if I know he's using OBS, will that will my graphic that I use transfer over? Because that'd be cool to see. Because mine's a uh, old drive-in, like, oh, well, well, welcome to have you here. Something like that. I still need to get Hayden to help me uh, on my intermission uh, th idea. That's way down the road. I need to see if I can commission some uh, voice actors for games that I play too. Oh shit. Don't do this to me, game. Whoops. Oh, wait, I can wall jump off this, can I? Okay, cool. I keep getting wall jumping is a thing in a Mario game. A 3D Mario game, mind you. I could end the night with marbles if you want, or Pictionary. I don't know. Or I'll just try to set it. I don't know. Let's see what kind of mood I'm in. I need to figure out how to get these uploaded to YouTube. I need to make some semi-interesting thumbnails for him. What the hell is this? Captain Toad goes forth. Oh, this is just straight up just going to be a Captain Toad game. Captain Toad, fearless hunter of the green stars, is ready for an adventure. Guide him safely through the course. In his search for five stars, make sure to get all five in order to take them home. Move the camera with 
our analog stick or just analog stick plus A to see the course from another angle. And just so you know, Kevin Joe can't jump. Keep that in mind. Sounds like a personal problem. Okay, is there one down here? Yeah. I do want to uh, have some time after the stream to, well, one, uh, stand standby for Alex if he needs me for Jackbox. Uh, I also want to watch, finish up Peaky Blinders on my off time. And maybe start Cowboy Bebop. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff to do today. I might start Vinland Saga for something to watch. What is that? I don't think I've heard of that. Is that on Netflix or something? Vinland Saga. It's a Vikings anime. Is it ongoing or uh, one season type thing? Or I don't want to say on one season, but like a limited thing? Just one season? Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm not too uh, big into the Viking genre for whatever reason. I, I like the medieval stuff, but I can't. I just can't get into Vikings. I don't know why. Like I know I heard I heard Vikings like a, a really good show. I think you're the one that told me that, and plus I think my uncle told me that. Yeah, watch the show Vikings. That's what I was saying. Um, I'll, I'll have to watch a few episodes of it. Time to take on Bowser. Or whoever the hell this is. Probably a Koopa Kid. Oh, what's that? There's a door. You gotta get the first three a shot and see how you feel. Alright. What's that on? Uh, is it on Netflix or is it HBO Max? Why am I crouching? That's too big this time. Uh, History Channel, but I think it's all free on Amazon. Okay. So were you spoiled at all? Uh, don't 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 say like what happened, but like were you spoiled at all for the finale of Invincible? Like, did you get spoiled in, like a YouTube thumbnail or something like that, or the memes? There. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got I got spoiled for him. Which yeah, <laughs> not great. Yeah, that was a, that was a that was a really good uh, finale. Jesus, what's up, bloody? As far as I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I think they're doing three more s or two more seasons. Shit. Uh, at least announced anyway. There's a new DLC coming out for Assassin's Creed Valhalla called Wrath of the Druids. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since three. I didn't even play that all the way through. I think I'm, I just played it with a friend. What is the star? Oh, I see. I heard Odyssey was good though. Like I had a friend. Uh, I had a friend that uh, when I worked at the game room at my college uh, would not shut up about it. But I guess that's a good thing. If if the game is that good. And I actually looked at like a lot of reviews, and they said it was like the best one since I don't know, whatever the best of Assassin's Creed game is. Can we do Assassin's Creed full playthrough when I get the chance? I will come back later. Great stream if you end before I come back. See <laughs> Slimster. Slimster. Yeah, there's, there's a chance I'll still be on. I played through Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. So Origins, Odyssey is the one in Egypt, right? And Valhalla is obviously Vikings or Norse, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, I played. Uh, 
I played three. I played the Washington DLC just because it, I think it came out on my birthday. I think. Or around my birthday. And uh, I was at Great Bear Lodge up in Upper Illinois. And while we were waiting for Arkham Origins to come out, uh, we played that. And that was fun, I guess. From, coming kind of from someone who doesn't play, again, a lot of Assassin's Creed games. Or really any Assassin's Creed games. Odyssey is the Spartan one. I thought which one's in, which one's the one in Egypt? Because I know there's one in Egypt. Because the, the guy at E3 when he tried to pronounce it Egypt, he couldn't he just couldn't get it right. Yeah, black. I was I was gonna say Black Flag earlier, but I just couldn't remember if that was considered good or not. Really, if you do any pirate, if you do any pirate theme game, chances are I'll probably like it. I'm dead. Nope. I choked. One, two, and Black Flag are the best. Yeah, I've only played three. Origins is Egypt, Odyssey is Greece, and Valhalla is Norse, but it takes place mostly in England. In England? Huh. Okay, so it is. Uh, okay, Origins then. Odyssey Spartan because it's a Greek poem by Homer. Homer. Homer Simpson. That guy. Wait, it's not, it's not really a poem. It's more of an epic, isn't it? Thing. Uh, I disagree. I think I, I think I talked about that a little bit in actually my Greek mythology class. I think I had to relate. I had to find like f four or five, uh, like f uh, modern day. Fictional characters that I, I said could be like Greek heroes. I don't. I think I did. John Wick was one of them. Um, because it's like all the symbolism for everything. Oh, let's see this. After playing like Mario Odyssey, his I like. I can't like not say how bad his hair looks in comparison. Sheesh, Bowser got that drip. Go look up his Odyssey render and you'll say, like I, like, like I said, he has, he has more drip than that. Do I have to hit this? No. Oh, I see, I have to hit his wheels. Or do I? Piece of shit. You should really play 1, 2, and Black Flag. They're the best in my opinion. Yeah. Are they on Steam? Can you fucking throw a ball at me or something? Thank you. I missed. God damn it. What if I back up? Does he follow me? No. He does not. So I assume this is pretty much no. Oh god, the V8. This is just never ending until I get all his wheels. Oh, okay. See ya. Noises outside my window. Well, 
one, two Revelations Brotherhood and Rogue for the 360. Oh, I had those, but sold them when I sold my 360. Did you sell it so you could upgrade to the one? What's Brotherhood about? Or what's the theme of Brotherhood? Nah, Christian's a console boy. Did you ever move on from the original, or did you ever get the, like an upgrade version of the one? Because it wasn't the one like prone to hardware issues or something like that. Like the original one, not like the one S or whatever. So, I guess I should be asking: Did you upgrade from beyond the original version? Red Ring of Death on 360 Pog. Yeah. And then they'd be like, instead of fixing it, we're just going to ask you to buy the new one. Or buy the, like, the black one, or whatever the hell it was. That's kind of part of the reason why I didn't get a uh, 360. It was because I heard the Red Ring of Death. Like, one of my friends, Jordan, he had, like, he went to, like, four different Xboxes just because of that shit. And then me and mom were like, is, is it even worth the investment of getting me one? And survey said no. So instead, I think I just got a Wii U. I was always a PlayStation player, then I switched to PC in 2012. Yeah. Uh, I would say the PC and the Wii are like the two, not the PC, the PS2 and the Wii are like the two consoles I grew up, in, grew up with like the most. Having a PS2 now is nice, because there's so many games that I could get at whatever mom and pop store that I go to, especially if you play. This quick sand? Nope. <laughs> it's, paid night. it's funny how you were talking about Conker's Bad Friday earlier, because one of the streamers that I follow is now streaming that literally right now. I put on GameCube in 64 shit time when I was younger. I only, met it, I only played on GameCube, like Skylar never got one. Um, but his friend Johnny, uh, had one. That's, uh, that's actually one of my earliest gaming memories, especially for Smash Bros. Uh, is there something down here? No. Uh, I remember playing Melee, and, like, the f I remember the distinctly the first character I picked was Dr. Mario, just because of the pills. Or I was like, oh, it's Mario in a lab coat or whatever, how quirky. I played on the Atari too. My dad had. I never. I've never played on an Atari before. Can I get up here? Hmm. I guess not. Dallas had all his consoles in the manager's room. Yeah. Must be nice. All I own right now, let me see. I have a GameCube, N64, Sega Genesis, PS2, PS4, uh, Wii, Wii U, um, and the DS, and the Nintendo Switch. I think the next console I want to get is a Dreamcast. Besides, like, current generation consoles like PS5. Which I'll get, I'll get, I'll get down the road whenever more games come out for it. I started playing little kid games on the PC when I was a kid. Then I was PlayStation kid. Then I got a 360 as a gift, and I've been on the Xbox since with Nintendo on the side. Yeah, Nintendo or uh, the Switch has pretty much been my 
besides PC is my primary uh, gaming thing. Besides playing like old retro shit on the side, on the GameCube or whatever. The GameCube, the GameCube games are so expensive now, dude. Like, I'm glad I was able to get some while I could. Like, I got, with the exception of Sunshine, which went down in price uh, because of the re-release. Um, like Mario Thousand Year Door, I got that at Mega Replay for 30 bucks, and then three months later, it like skyrocketed in price to like 110 complete in box. So that was a, that was a good investment. Even though I don't think I don't think the game's that good. Like I kind of oh my god, like I there's so much like moving around. It's kind of hard to just not get bored of going back from one area to another. Not having like you can also partly blame it because of the quality of life stuff that you're so used to, like teleporting and shit like that. They had, that they didn't have yet. Oh god, shaky hand, gamer moment right here. Probably gonna fall off. Can I hit these things? Well, I definitely can't now. Please be a second, sir. Okay, good. Okay, I need to find a clock. Okay. That was easy. Maintaining a PC or a decent enough PC is kind of expensive. It's an expensive hobby. Give me the star. Thanks. Figured he'd have one for me. Oh god. Just gonna be patient. Alright. Cool. Impossible to get graphics card right now, anyways. Yeah! Unless you get insanely lucky on New Egg. But speaking of which, they should be sending out the stuff right now. Let's see if I got lucky. <laughs> Cubs lost to the Indians. Funny. Um. Uh, no, sir, I did not. Well, if, it, if I haven't gotten emailed in the last two hours. Or however long it's been open. Uh, just tap an amiibo to your controller within a course to make something surprising happen. Check the guidelines and menus to learn more. Also, use any amiibo when you're and use amiibo when you're communicating with other Nintendo Switch systems. Keep that in mind. Well, like any amiibo. How, how did it say to do it? Maybe we have to do it in game. What is this? Oh, I think something spawns there. Let's do this first. Let's go. Were there any TIs? Uh, 30, 60 TIs in the shuffle today? I don't think there were. I think there's 30, 60s. Yeah, I didn't think so. The way those blocks are outlined makes you think they're gonna pull out. Ooh, hello. Big brain. Where did I go? Oh. Alright, cool. 
Do you play Sea of Thieves or Apex Christian? I think you said he played Apex yesterday, didn't he? And I think you said you play a little Sea of Thieves. Maybe? God damn it. I even hit it too. Might be able to do some crossplay sometime, maybe. What's this? Oh, I thought it was like a turnip. I feel like there's a star in here I missed. And I did not hit forward, I hit back. Let me go look. Can I hit these? I don't think so. Peach, just climb. No, I can't. Hey Viper, good to see you man. You been enjoying Alex's stream? And you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? <laughs> Thanks for the follow Viper. I hope that wasn't too loud. Uh, I increased the volume from yesterday because you could barely hear it. Was watching for a bit. What are they up to? I know they were picking up uh, a new emote a while ago. Not sure if they finished quite yet. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh god! Okay, thank goodness. Oh, he's playing Valorant? Yeah, Sasuke or Peyton told me he was doing ranked play, and I don't know how well that's going. Is he doing it by himself? Oh shit. Big baby. Give me my green star. Yeah, I recommended uh, just playing Spike Rush a bunch to him. That's how I got a little better. Yeah, he's playing ranked alone. He didn't want to play with me because I will increase the ranks a lot. Yeah, true. of you. That's thumbnail material right there. Friday I'll be playing Mass Effect Legendary on stream by the way. It was better? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll check you out, Viper. Actually, am I following you yet? I'll have to follow you after the stream. Yeah, on Friday there's a chance I'm going to be at a, uh, I'll try streaming, but there's a chance I won't be home too much of the day. I might be at a, uh, lake house with my uncle. But we shall see. Yeah, I'll check, I'll drop by your stream whenever I get, if I get a chance. I've never played Mass Effect either. I know it's a really love series though, and there's a new one. What, Mass Effect 4? Or something like that? I know they announced a new one. I'm excited. Figure I'd let my followers decide my class and romance options. Now would be a good time. They're releasing Mass Effect Legendary, which is 1, 2, and 3 remastered. So is it 4 that they're working on right now? Because I know there was a trailer, I think, uh, at the PlayStation State of Play or something like that, for the PlayStation 5 reveal event. I don't know. I didn't read any of that. If you're playing on handheld mode, touching the blocks on the screen works too. Huh? Oh shit. I like the color palette of this place. What if I tap him? Ooh. Hmm. I don't think the gyro, like, I think Mario Galaxy is right, besides this game, is like the only game that really does uh, gyro aiming. 
I didn't think it'd be this good. That's pretty cool. How much, uh, how much is the Legendary Edition going for? 60? Sixty? Okay. God damn it. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a good price. And they're remastered too, so they're gonna look better. The hell's this? Oh my god. Jeez, that's, that's intimidating. It includes over 40 DLC for the games, too. That game had that much DLC. I if I go down here, will I die? Nope. And supposedly play better, too. Yeah, I would hope so. Because then you guys remastered. It was a lot for all three games. When did th when did three come out? Uh, it's been a while. Maybe 2013, 2014, maybe. And there's also Mass Effect Andromeda, which I know not a lot of people liked at all. Oh, cool. Twenty twelve, yeah. So. Trying to think of how much like AAA games would have retailed around that time for. Oh shit! It wasn't the same feel as the first three. Yeah, and I also heard it wasn't very well developed in terms of <laughs> the development. Like I know, I know, like the face, the face effects were like memed on because how bad they were. They were about sixty back then too. Yeah, so that, that, that's a great that's a great value then. Just watch Donkey's video on it. Yeah, exactly. That's that, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Yeah, pretty much. I had to died the misfortune, I guess, of not really growing up on outside Nintendo AAA stuff uh, because I grew up on Nintendo and Skylar, uh, my brother, also never really had uh, any of those kinds of consoles except for PS2. Uh, and plus I never got into PC gaming until 2015. Yeah, they definitely have great games. I can't wait for whatever E3 says this year. Breath of the Wild 2 News would be fantastic. But I'm just saying, uh, I don't have the experience or the knowledge too much of Sony and uh, Microsoft games as much as I could have if I had grown up with those consoles. I Like I, I said earlier, I almost had a Xbox, um, but I didn't want to... My mom uh, had heard that like Red Ring, it does for such a thing for the 360 from one of our friends. So she's like, if it's going to break, then why bother even buying it? Metro Prime 4? Yeah, me too. I hope they announce something besides, you know, a PNG image or just the, the number 4. Bayonetta 3 news would be nice too. I would love a new Kid Icarus game, but that's probably not going to happen for a good while. I think there's a star down here. I gotta be quick. Yeah, there is. Hot Take Nintendo should have console exclusive games. Uh, yeah, that is a hot take because I don't agree with it. But, like that's the only way to really push hardware for some people. That's part of the reason why I prefer Sony than or Sony to Xbox anyway. Oh shit, I might run out of time. Nope, I'm good. Red Ring of Death was an overheat issue mostly. What do you mean by over here issue? You mean like over exaggerated? No PlayStation or Xbox exclusives. <laughs> I 
higher than three. Isn't that like the third? Is that the third lowest? How does it go? But iron being the first one doesn't sound right. The heat sink was off place and would just overheat the system was an easy fix. Yeah, but uh, I think a lot of um, a lot of the market was like teenagers or like younger teenagers and kids who wouldn't really know how to do that kind of thing, which was kind of an issue. That's kind of like when the Switch first came out, uh, putting the Joy-Cons on backwards, the straps would literally lock up your Joy-Con. Iron one worst thing? Yikes. Uh, and since mostly kids are going to be the main uh, consumer, uh, there was a big problem. And then I heard my, like Microsoft was always tedious apparently about even like trying to get you a fix. But yeah, you get, just get game companies. Game companies PR moves are sometimes sometimes just not that great. All right. Um. I didn't get Xbox because it started with PS1 and got stuck with Sony. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I mainly, I mainly stuck with Nintendo because my mom got me a DS when I was six or s six or seven, the DS Lite, and basically she was friends with someone who worked at Nintendo, or she still is, and I'd basically just get free hardware <laughs> whenever like certain games would come out, and I still sometimes do whenever. Her grandkids can't play certain Nintendo Switch games. Like she still, she got me, she got me. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, no more heroes. I think, and she is eventually gonna give me Doom, which I don't necessarily need. I'd rather just play that on PC. But I'll, I, I can take it, I guess, if she doesn't want it. But I'm a big fan of gaming. So gaming, of gaming. But I'm a big fan of gaming is gaming no matter what console. Yeah, definitely. I'll play. Like, that's why I'm I'm starting to branch off into more PlayStation stuff. I'm slowly filling up my PS4 library, and then when I get a PS5, I'll eventually fill that up too. But I'm kind of just waiting for more games to be announced, and that might take a little while because Sony's not even going to be at E3 this year, which is kind of sucks. Doom Eternal or 2016 Doom? Uh, 2016. Huh? Is Doom Eternal even out on the Switch yet? I know it. Let me think. I think it was supposed to come out this like simultaneously, but I don't know if that actually happened or not. I remember the whole like all the memes about Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal, which is pretty funny. But yeah, if I'm gonna play that, I'd rather, I'd, like any shooters, I don't like playing shooters on console because I get carpal tunnel even just thinking about aiming with a controller. I'm more natural with a mouse. Not saying I'm very good at it. Peyton can vouch for me on that aspect. But I just prefer to pl uh, play shooters on PC. I just need to beat both of the DLCs for Demon Eternal. I heard the DLCs are really good. I actually didn't even know that Bethesda um, owned the rights to Doom until they announced the remake or the like the 2016 Doom. Because I remember, I remember I was watching it with um, yeah, I was watching it with Peyton. And it was a Bethesda conference, and I, for some reason I was just really, really tired. And like, they were talking about, let me think, maybe Fallout 4? Or something. Maybe some Skyrim stuff. And I passed out for like maybe three minutes. And then when I woke up, I just see Doom like screaming at me in my face. And I was like, wait, what? And then I saw Doom, and I was like, wait, Bethesda owns Doom? So that was kind of a surprise. I think they bought them up. That would, yeah, that's that would, that would make sense. Because I don't... There's no way Bethesda... I don't know. When, did, when was Bethesda even founded? Actually, no. Maybe they did own Doom from the start because I remember they said, Oh, we popularized the shooter genre with Doom. Or, yeah, something like that. Was that the one we watched? Yeah. I remember I remember you were there. Like, you were you were way more invested in it than I was because I didn't, I didn't play too many Bethesda games besides, uh, I think, New Vegas, my brother. Uh, the fun one is THQ Nordic that owns a Time Splitters franchise. Yeah, there's a new. Isn't there a new Time Splitters coming out? And didn't did they? No, that's Psychonauts. Time Splitters. Who owns Times or who owns THQ? Is that like their own thing? 
Or is it like a Microsoft owned brand? I think, yeah. I think we watched all past five E3s together. Yeah. I remember we watched. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what. I don't think we watched Nintendo's last E3 because I was at my uncle's house. I didn't have my computer. Or I had my computer, but it was a Chromebook, I think. But damn, that was, that was such a great E3. Just because of the Breath of the Wild reveal. Shit like that. THQ Nordic is on its own, I believe. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, the other Dooms were maybe at ID software. Like the originals. Like Doom 1, 2, and 3. And then Doom 64. I think that's the name of one of the Dooms. I, yeah, I didn't play too much of Doom like as a kid, but um, I, I always watched my brother. Excuse me, I, I always watched my brother play it. What am I supposed to do with this? Doom Eternal is on sale right now. For how much? I'll take a shot in the dark. I'm gonna say like twenty-five dollars. Well, 12? Okay, I'm buying that. How much does it re usually usually retail for? Doom 1, 2, Final Doom, Doom 3, and 64. I haven't heard of Final Doom. 60? Hmm. That's for some reason I thought it went down in price. But damn, $20, 20 is really good. There's also usually an E. Th I, if I remember correctly, there's usually like an E3 sale, like before the actual presentation, or maybe not E3, but like a PC gaming show sale. Because I remember um, when they announced Persona 4 Golden, I bought that, and I think I bought it for 25% off because it was like, here's here's our here's the launch of the game, and by the way, it's 25% off or something like that. So that was pretty cool. I like I'm not even focusing on the game right now. I'm just pretty much just monologuing. Wait, who's even going to be at E3 this year? Let me think. I think Square, the Microsoft, and Bethesda are doing their own thing together. Which is going to be weird. Um, Nintendo, obviously. Uh, Ubisoft? Hey, chatting is always fun, too. Yeah, having a chat gives me a lot to talk about. Yep, Microsoft, Bethesda, Nintendo, I think Square Enix, EA won't be at this year, I don't think. PlayStation obviously won't, because they haven't been at it since, like, maybe four years. And they did Last of Us 2. That was such a weird press conference. Maybe we'll get more info about Final Fantasy 16. Maybe. Is that confirmed to be in development? I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no! Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, is that confirmed to be in development? I figured they'd be working on the remakes more than anything. Huh. I'm excited for the the next few episodes of Seven. That music. What's with the baseballs? Is there something down here? No. I know uh, FF14 online was doing a lot with um, Monster Hunter World. Oh shit, did I miss a star? Oh no. I'll, I'll, go, I'll get the star in my free time. Mad that I can't get the Yuffie DLC from uh, the Yuffie DLC from what? Oh, I don't know too much about the DLC, so I just I just like the pretty much the main story. I think I'll. Um, 
get a PS5. I, I don't know how soon the, the next few episodes are going to be out. Probably a while knowing Square Enix's track record, but uh, I'll probably get a PS5 before I even buy the next few episodes. Okay. Shit. Damn it! What a travesty. When does E3 officially even start? Like June 9th, maybe? June 11th? I know it's usually around those times. I really want to play God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, and both Spider-Man games, but they're on PlayStation only. Is that why you want console? Is that why you don't want console exclusives anymore? That's that's what drives all the hardware. Whoops. That's what drives all the hardware. All exclusives. Microsoft's finally figuring that out. Only took them like two decades. With the exception of Halo. There is one star in each room. Do your best to get them all. Good luck. Nice. Yeah, Morales is cool, but I don't know if I need to play that game that badly. I like to get just a PS5 for it, like a lot of people did. Like, I'm just waiting for... Uh, when there's a new entry in the Persona series, I'll, I'll definitely get a PS5 at that point. Um, like I said, when Final, when the new Final Fantasy stuff comes out. Oh shit. Come on. Cool. Wait, did it not count that? Oh, it did. Uh, when the new Horizon Zero Dawn comes out. Then I'll definitely make the switch. Actually, Xbox is still keeping the PC and console, but also Game Pass. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, a lot of... I don't know how much money Microsoft really makes from um, Xbox Game Pass on PC. I guess that's to be a decent amount if they're willing to... Well, one, put it on PC so they don't have to worry about pushing hardware. I guess they make a lot from just PCs themselves as a Windows. I don't know. What am I looking at? Holy shit. On the lava. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, E3. Um, let me think. So Nintendo, Ubisoft, I think. Bethesda, Microsoft. I think Kon is Konami doing something this year? Square Enix, PC Gaming Show, which is just standard. And then, um... Who's the company that always had, like, those batshit crazy uh, uh, presentations? Decent amount since Game Pass Ultimate is 16 a month, and PC Game Pass is 10. Yeah, true. Subscription services do rack up a lot of good prices. Or good uh, income from them. Uh, I I mainly used Game Pass whenever it was free on Discord for however long that was. What is this? Ooh. But yeah, I'm, I'm in no necessarily rush to play Microsoft games, with the exception of Halo, but now I, ha I have that on Steam, so there's no point. And they keep a good amount of games on there. Yeah, I respect them for that. Oh, shit. I know Ubisoft's, Ubisoft has a uh, subscription feature, EA Play has a subscription feature, uh, Twin Spies me Nintendo eventually starts doing that for all their virtual console games, uh, PlayStation, that's kind of part of their, um, that's kind of part of their library, so that's not really a subscription feature either. Like God of War, I get because it's PlayStation exclusive since the first one. But Horizon was a new IP, and as for Spider-Man, he's just Sony's cash cow, so they won't return him to his rightful owners. Well, yeah, it's called good business, good sir. And uh, 
Technically, it's, uh, Horizon Zero is not exclusive anymore. It's on uh, it's on PC. Shit. I forgot. I, I honestly forgot about God of War until you said it. I never played too much of the God of War games. I know uh, Alex and uh, Damien did a shit ton. Oh, and then Ratchet and Clank. Is that is that an exclusive? I want to say yes. It's actually funny that you say Spider-Man because I I, I believe uh, uh, Disney and Microsoft, or sorry, Disney and Sony just reached a deal that they can finally stream all the Spider-Man movies on um, Disney Plus. So that's pretty cool. I think it's going to be after they um, do premieres or whatever on Netflix first, which is kind of weird. I'm curious if that deal also includes um, Into the Spider-Verse, because I, I want to show my grandma that, and I don't have it on DVD yet. The new one is interesting, and yes, I think so. Yeah, I thought so too. I'm just trying to think of games that they showed off off memory at the uh, PS5 reveal. And I initially thought that uh, Resident Evil was a exclusive because they showed it off at the reveal, but then I found out it's not. It's also it's also on PC, and I'm pretty sure yeah, it's on Microsoft too because I won't know that for a fact because Christian plays it. Spider Verse is on Netflix already. It it was, and I think they took it away. I think they got rid of it like last November or something like that, which sucks. What is going on? Oh, I see. There we go. And then, uh... Venom comes out this year. That looks like it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Morbius, I think, got delayed till June of next year. Which, that's interesting. Because it looks like it takes place in the Rama universe and the MCU universe at the same exact time. Yeah, let there be carnage. I've been waiting for a while to see carnage on the live, or you know, on the movie screen. That's a cool. Oh my god. That didn't look like a, like a finished pipe. Wait. Oh, thank God. All right. And then Spider-Man 3. I'll be, that's going to be a great movie. I love Peyton Reed as a director. I think that's his name. He's also doing Fantastic Four, which... I was hoping John Krasinski and Emily Blunt would want to do the Mr. and Mrs. Fantastic, but apparently Emily Blunt doesn't even like superhero movies. So that's kind of out of the question now, I guess. What an appropriate stamp to get right now. So yeah, Marvel's got a good future. And then, um... What's that movie? Like, The Seven Rings or something like that? Shang-Chi? Yeah, me too. I can't wait for Doctor Strange too. That's gonna be awesome. It's gonna have two of my favorite Marvel heroes in it. Can I get down here? Yeah, I can. I think Morbius takes place in the same universe as Venom, which isn't in the MCU. So then what about Vulture? Because uh, Michael Keaton appeared at the end of the trailer. And it's weird. I don't know if it's just an issue, like, they just messed up, but there's a picture of Sam Raimi Spider-Man, like, in the background of one of the parts. Shunk, yeah, and the Ten Rings. I don't know anything about that movie, or that franchise. Like, I'll, I'll go see it, but I'm not necessarily excited too, much, too excited for it. I'm also not that excited about Black Widow. I'll, I'll go see it because of, uh, what's his name, David Hayter? Not David Hayter, that's Snake. Uh, Mr. Strange, Mr. Strange, Stranger Things. I can't think of his name. And then Taskmaster, that's cool. Easter Egg, maybe? I don't know. They, 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 made, a, they made a lot of attention to that in the trailer. That makes me think that it's in the same universe or something. But that, that Raimi, that Raimi Spider-Man threw me off. Part of me think that was, just, that was just a mistake. I don't know. 
Plus, it also said he was a, he was a murderer, or something like that. Taskmaster is a dope character in the comics. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys watch uh, C Nanners on YouTube or used to watch C Nanners, but he uh, he voiced Taskmaster on like the Marvel app or something like that. That that was really bizarre to see. Yeah, I, I, Senior is like I grew up on Senior so hard. I love the Gary mod stuff. Gary's mod stuff. Excuse me. But yeah, I think when I I looked at like behind like voice acting history or something like that because I think there's a channel out there that like says oh here's the person that voiced here's the people that voiced the Joker the last 20 years or here's the. Uh, Here's the person that voiced. I don't know. Just think of like any, think of like any character from any cartoon, and there's one for him, definitely. Damn it. I'm old and wish I had a PC that could play Gary's mod. Yeah, Mark Hamill was. Mark can I love Mark Hamill as Joker. He's my favorite Joker. As far as I'm concerned, he can't be beat, with the exception of Heath Ledger. But that's that's live action, so two sides of the same coin. But like, I know, yeah, there's a channel out there that says like, here's everybody that's voiced, here's everybody that's played these specific characters, and here's what they sound like, stuff like that. And I think I saw Taskmaster on there, and I saw uh, scene enters of Adam Montoya, and I was like, wait, what? And then I clicked on it, and it's just like he didn't even try putting on a voice. He was like, oh hey, go do this. And I was like, that's weird. Because after playing, I think ta was Taskmaster in a. Uh, Spider-Man for the PS4? I think he was. Uh, I was like, that's an interesting tone that you t take for that kind of character. Did you hear the rumor about a Static Shock movie? Yeah, I did. I, I love Static Shock. I know they're also working on um, Blue Beetle. And... A few other things. I know there's a lot of... I think, like, Justice League Dark was... Uh, rumor to come out to by Spielberg. But as far as I'm concerned, I think that got canceled. And there's also like a movie about like the trench from Aquaman. And that I'm pretty sure that got canceled. DC finally getting some stuff together. Yeah. I wish that they would uh, continue the Snyder verse, but that seems like a lost dream at this point. Damn, I can't even go off that far off stage. Uh, Shazam, Shazam was great. Um, I like the Snyder Cut, as I just kind of explained that. Uh, Suicide Squad looks good, the new one. It's James Gunn, so I think he'll do it justice. Uh, what else is coming out? No, oh, the, the, the new Batman is going to be fucking awesome. I know that for a fact. I know Robert Pattinson is going to knock it out of the, knock it out of the park. He was, he was so good in the White House. For that kind of character. Alright, have fun, man. Tell Alex I say hi. I'll probably stop by his stream a little bit after this. If I don't see you, then have a good rest of your night. Like this, this, this con consistently like shooting every second makes me feel like the controller's broken or something. Oh boy, I saw a list dropped by Christian. I'm gonna check it out after this. After I get the stamp. Black Widow, Shang Chi, Eternals, Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. I'll check that after this. I keep getting hit. Oh shit, I needed a bullet, didn't I? Alex is off doing something. Is he not at his stream?
Damn it. I kind of want to restart. I'll do it after. Hopefully his uh, counter's frozen. Yeah, he got five gifted subs earlier. Or actually, six. So his, his counter went up by uh, one hour. I think he was, to, he was supposed to be done at 11, but now he's going to be at minimum done at like one in the morning. Good thing he doesn't have any job priorities. At least not yet. Alright. It's not a Mario 3D game if that guy's not in it. Like the most basic, <laughs> the most basic boss in like Mario game history. All right, uh, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder. That's gonna be good because it's Taika Waititi. Uh, Black Panther, Marvels, Guardians of the Galaxy, Fantastic Four. Yeah, good feature. So are you on your Switch or PC? Uh, I'm on my Switch, but I have a Elgato capture card inside my PC. It's a HD60 Pro. So that's how I'm broadcasting it. This isn't an emulator, if that's what your question is. Which is my console of choice between this current generation, I guess. But I'm sure PC will, or sorry, PS5 will eventually change that. Maybe. Actually, probably not. Because Breath of the Wild 2 and Metroid Prime are going to be great. Plus, I expect Nintendo to keep milking the Switch as long as they can, so it's going to have an abundant library. I have Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and an older laptop. I have Switch, PS4, and PC. And then a bunch of old, uh, older consoles. I'll do one more world. Or I'll do half of this world. And then I think I'll stop the stream. Oh god, it's ice. That's never a good sign. Looks cool though. Snowball Park. Fun slippery times, pretty much. If you play Galaxy, you know exactly. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much a spot-on description. You could like ice skate in Galaxy though with the uh, motion controls. So that was fun, but this game, besides the gyro, doesn't have any motion controls. Oh shit. Plus, we have Disney Plus. We have Loki, What If, Miss Marvel, She Hulk, Hawkeye, Moon Knight, Secret Invasion, and Unnamed Wakanda series. Uh, Moon Knight is the one with um, uh, Oscar Isaac, right? I bet the uh, Wakanda series probably focus on those, uh, I can't remember the name of it, uh, those people in Captain America, or sorry, uh, Winter Soldier and Falcon. Yeah, I like, I like Oscar Isaac. I liked his, uh, his Apocalypse portrayal was okay from X-Men Apocalypse. It's kind of crazy to me that that, that is him, because he's, he's, Round and makeup. And he's he's gonna be uh, Snake. 
I just remember that. I can remember uh, Boss Logic, who does a lot of um, graphic design like ideas. Oh, I can't throw a fireball. Uh, graphic design ideas was like, oh, look at this. This is perfect. Like, he, sh he, he should be Snake or Boss, or whatever you want to call him. And he, they, they literally did it. So that would be cool. Can I get out of this? You're also going to get Blade at some point. That's going to be awesome. With, um... I can't remember the actor. But he was in, I think, Green Book. He's, he seems to be excited for it. And then the X-Men movies, whenever the, whenever those come out. Probably four... Oh, and Deadpool 3, I guess, is in the works right now. I didn't know that was confirmed yet. I thought they were doing a uh, X-Force movie, but I guess that got cancelled. I also read that um, Harley Quinn, or I'm sorry, Margot Robbie, same thing, uh, wants Poison Ivy in the or DC EU at some point, which has, I 100% agree with. Wouldn't surprise me if they just do the angle of um, what the Harley Quinn animated series pretty much did. Just make them like laid, not laid back, but like that that sort of comedic style. Yeah, that that that, that, that should be good. That's just that's part of the movie. I think James Gunn pretty much nailed the vision that the original didn't really do <laughs> that well. Uh, that's mostly Warner Brothers' fault, apparently. Like David Ayer wanted um, a different angle, but Warner Brothers was like, "Nope, sorry." Got a star. I don't have very much time left. God damn it. This piece of shit. Can I just cut him off? No, I can't. Did I get him? God damn it, no. Alright, I need to find a clock. Uh, oh, I'll just die. Yeah, Mahersha Ali. He was in Green Book, right? Oh, I wasn't even that far back. I think he won. I think he won Best Actor for Green Book or something like that. Maybe Best Supporting, something. Or was it Green? Book? Maybe Green Book won Best Picture. I'm thinking of. Okay. Great power up. Okay, give me a little shit. Blew him up with that snowball for good measure. The real question is who will be the Fantastic Four? That is the real question. It's probably just going to be some names that we don't know. I mean, John Krasinski is still the favorite to be uh, Mr. Fantastic. I know, yeah, like I said earlier, Emily Blunt and him have been the Dreamcast for so, so long. And now I guess Emily Blunt doesn't even want to do it. I might need this cat power up. Shit. No! Same goes for the X-Men. Yeah. That was a weird decision to Evan Peters as Quicksilver in... Wand division. I, I still don't get that. I gotta stamp.
I'm sure Deadpool is still going to be uh, Ryan Reynolds because you can't have a better casting than that. And... That's all I have to say to that. <laughs> they might not even do... Uh, actually, come think about it. They might not even do Quicksilver in this universe unless they just straight up bring everybody over, which they might. I wouldn't be against that. I don't, I don't mind, like, the cast of uh, the younger X-Men. The only one I don't really necessarily like that much is the girl who plays uh, uh, Dark Phoenix. I don't think she's that great of an actress. Is there no cat power up? <sighs> okay. It's supposed to be a meta joke, but just for a lot of people. But yeah. They they knew they knew they were uh they knew what they were doing by doing that. Hundred percent. Like they they didn't have to reveal that guy's actual name. I mean I guess they did so they could explain if that was Evan Pete or Quicksilver or not. But the fact that he was even in there, they knew what they were doing. I don't know. All right, I'll do one more level and then probably shut the stream off. I gotta go eat. I gotta go eat like actual food, and then I'll think of something that I'll probably live stream tomorrow again. And the question is, what do I stream? Chances are, I'll probably be on the Nintendo Switch. Shifty Boo Mansion. What the fuck? Oh, he's outside. There's like an invisible or something in front of me. Besides, um... Besides Quicksilver, like the main person that I, I would love back is um, James McAvoy, because I, I love his I love his uh, Professor X or Charles Xavier, whatever the fuck you want to call him. He's 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 just he's just a good actor. And so I'm also still waiting on uh, <laughs> all the new Star Wars series to come out. Oh yeah, Michael Fassbender too. He's great. Cloud up there. There's no. Oh, wait, maybe there is. Welcome back, Alex. Viper was just here. I don't know if he still is or not. I saw you got ranked in Valorant. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I'm gonna be making some dinner not too long after this. No, no, I didn't know. No, I didn't. Don't know what you're talking. All right, I'll believe you. Peyton must be just spreading lies. How do I get up there? That couch? Hey, me too, buddy. Mainly because I don't. I refuse to play any Riot ranked games. They, they make some of the most toxic people. Oh, shit. That was a complete accident. Come on. Nice. Definitely not ranked iron. Stupid name for a rank, by the way. <laughs> Would you rather be copper? They're just trying to do something different. Pretty sure they just don't want to do what uh, CSGO did and just name it off the elements. How many... Did, did you win any games? <laughs> A 
the last one out of how many? Three? How did I get up there? Well, you may ask yourself, well, how did I get there? <laughs> Thanks for the follow-up, Bentu. Ryan. So, so many. Wait, have you been playing it since the start of your subathon? And longer. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your timer sitting at right now? I assume. Actually, let me guess. That can't be right. Uh, actually, is it is it six hours? So I was about to say I know Ethan pretty much increased it single-handedly. We are at six hours, seventeen minutes, and thirty seconds. Okay. So you'll be up for a while. I'm going to have to increase it by another hour if you're okay with that. Okay, I guess I'll just move on. I don't know how to get up to that couch. Let's get a Tanooki here. I suspect when Jalen gets off work, he's going to donate quite a bit, because that's usually his shtick. What the hell's that? Hey, is there for a reason? I think another hour could be done at 2. Yeah. Because 6 hours from now is 1 o'clock. Oh, it's not even a... It's, okay. I thought that was a green star over there earlier. Guess not. If it gets high enough, you can always do what Lug would do and, and didn't just play videos while you're asleep. Or have somebody else take over for you. Uh, I don't really want that. Let me get a clock, please. While sleeping, yeah, maybe we will see. I think if it's like an hour left, you should just power through it. Okay, I'm gonna die if I don't find clock. Ask and you shall receive. I'm zooming now. Sleep stream. People get a lot of money from those. It's kind of crazy. And I missed a star. Oh, never mind. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. God, if it goes long, long enough, I'll have to. Nah, man, you gotta power through it. You reap what you sow. If you had your camera on, we'd just see we'd just see you lumped over on the beanbag in the background. <laughs> I'm just imagining that in my head. Another Captain Toad. It's right behind me for a reason. Yeah. In the always on television. Good lord, my phone's blowing up. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta buy some NFL tickets in like an hour. Alright, is this ice? Nope. Well, Alex, whatever whatever happens, you'll be a little richer.
Oh yeah, I can click. <laughs> Just lift Captain Toad over there. Can I lower this? No, I can't. Oh, I see. So what'd you end up making for dinner then? <laughs> Hopefully like Red Bull souffle. Still going? Yeah, for a little longer. Just talking to Alex about his how about how his sleep schedule is gonna be ruined. How do I get that? I guess fall oh yeah, I just said fall from up there. Great memory. Oh, I see now. Or I spoke too soon. Oh. Captain Toad, one dense mofo. He walking underwater like that. He's just built different, dude. I know Captain Toad has pretty much has a game, and it's exactly this. Uh, fall from up here. Then do this all over again. Yeah, I was supposed to do that last. Oh, well. Wrong to. So what did you do for the last three minutes? Or not three minutes. Why did I say three, four? It's just been like 30 minutes. What did you do for the last 30 minutes, Andrew? You see the schedule's out now? This is timed? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh. Had me dinner, good old ham and cheese potatoes. There you go. Might be finishing off some Italian beef that I had yesterday. Don't know yet. All I know is it's very cold. What does that have to do with dinner? I don't know. I will do one more level and then I'm done. <laughs> Gotta save some game for the rest of the streams, you know. I had a taco for dinner. Only one taco? Go. Oh god, it's a moving level. Green Bay got three Sunday night football games, now we're the Cowboys at the best. <laughs> I'm sure the Cowboys sell the most primetime games out of any team. I can't believe they're doing why did they? Why? Why couldn't they just do the, the, buff the Bucks and the Bills? That would have been cool. I thought the tradition was always one NFC. Ver oh wait, last year they did two AFC. Never mind. Maybe they just rotate it. Oh, 
Oh. Can you look up when um, the Bears and the Niners play? Because I'm thinking that's the game we're going to go to. Because if those leaks had any uh, uh, credibility, which I think they did, then we're going to we would be playing them sometime like the week six to nine range. Very nice. Oh god, that was full. I think tickets go on sale in about an hour, so I, I gotta I gotta get ready for that. I hope there's not a star up here. I don't think so. Is this moving too? Yes it is. Halloween. So that that's probably not gonna happen then. <laughs> Considering I always have a Halloween party. Halloween's on a Sunday this year. Go, go, go. Just grab the star, thank you. Talk to myself there. Uh don't think there's anything up there. Oh! Apparently. Oh, I missed the star in the middle. Fuck. Oh well. Alright. I'll have to get those stars on my off time. Luigi. Alright. Um, I think that'll be it for tonight. Unless you guys want to do a quick marbles thing before I get off. I think we need more people for that, though. You could do week two versus Cincinnati. Uh, Burrow versus Andy Dalton. Actually, Burrow's going to be dead by then. So is there really any point going to that game? see Jamar Chase get thrown at. Maybe. I see Mooney. I'm trying to think of the other home games. Like I can I can do really any game that isn't um like the the twelve o'clock games is pretty much what I'm aiming for. I think the Vikings I think I heard think I heard the Vikings and the Bears at Chicago is going to be a Monday Night Football game, which means, barring whatever happened last year, which we won't talk about, uh, we should pick that win, maybe. Considering Cousin's track record. Damn. Seattle after Christmas? Yeah, I, I did read that was our Week 17 game. All right, I think that'll be it for the stream. Uh, thanks to everybody for tuning in. It's been fun. We've had a lot of thoughtful discussions about video games and movies and whatnot. Uh, I'll stream tomorrow, probably a little earlier than what I did today. I'm gonna go play some more Resident Evil 8. There you go. Beat it for like the third or fourth time. Uh, I will might do more Hollow Knight tomorrow, and um, 
I don't know. We'll, we'll think of something. All right, thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna go be in Alex's stream now. I'm gonna I'm gonna finally upload these vods to the YouTube channel. Uh, fourth time. Uh, I'm gonna upload these to the YouTube channel eventually, and then whenever I play this game enough or how long I enough, I'll make an edit across all these vods. So that'll be fun. All right, uh, I'm gonna send you guys over to Alex's channel. So have a good rest of your night, guys.